हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पार्ट नाइन ऑफ चैप्टर ट्वेल्व रूल्स फॉर आईयूपीएससी यू पी ऑफ पोली फंक्शनल कंपाउंड मीन्स व्हेन मोर देन वन फंक्शनल ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट देन हाउ टू गिव द आईयूपीएससी नेम ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स व्हिच कंटेन टू और मोर फंक्शनल ग्रुप्स आर कॉल्ड पॉली फंक्शनल कंपाउंड्स The IUPAC names are obtained as number one principal functional group. When an organic compound contains two or more different functional groups, one of the functional group is selected as principal and other as substituent. And series is that like this. How to know which group will be principal and which will be substituent? Amines. carboxylic sulfonic and hydrides esters acid chlorides acid amides nitriles isocyanides aldehydes ketones alcohols phenols thiols amines here are uh, with the formulas carboxylic acid cooh sulfonic acid so3h ester coor acid chloride cocl acid amide conh2 nitrile cn aldehyde cho ketone c double bond o alcohol oh phenol c6h6o thiols sh amines nh2 ether or alkene c double bond c alkynes c triple c All the remaining functional groups such as halo, nitroso, nitro, alkoxy, C6H5 are always treated as substituent groups. All the remaining functional groups such as halo, nitroso, nitro, alkoxy, C6H5 are always treated as substituent groups. While writing the name of polyfunctional compounds, the principal functional group is indicated by adding the secondary suffix to the word root. While the secondary functional groups are indicated by adding prefix to word root. For example, X hello, OH hydroxy, SH uh, thio. OR alkoxy NH2 amino CHO formyl CO keto or oxo depends if it is uh, principal or substituent COOH carboxy COOR alkoxy COCl halo carbonyl CN cyano CO NH2 carbonyl number 2 selecting the principal chain while selecting the principal chain present in a polyfunctional compound take care should be take uh, care should be taken that it must contain the principal functional group and the maximum number of secondary functional groups and multiple bonds if any third numbering the principal chain the principal chain present in a polyfunctional compound must be numbered in such a way that the principal functional group gets lowest possible number followed by double bond triple bond and the substituent that is principal functional group then double bond then triple bond and then substituent means first of all preference will be given to the principal uh, functional group for example here you are given with an example ch ch2 ch double bond ch single oh here oh is twice and one times cl it's uh, so it will be four chlorobut one ene one four diol note and it will not be written as one chlorobut 3 in 14 diol fourth point alphabetical order the prefixes for the secondary functional group and other substituent should be placed in alphabetical order before the word root as explained earlier 
If two groups of the same preference occupy identical positions from either end of the parent chain, the lower number must be given to the group whose prefix comes first in the alphabetical order. For example, CH2, 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 CH2. One side with CL, other side with BR. Then it is 1-bromo-4-chlorobutane. Next, if an unbranched carbon chain is directly linked to more than two like functional groups, the organic compound is named as a derivative of the parent alkane, which does not include the carbon atoms of the functional groups. Here, in this example, you are provided with a chain of three carbon atoms. Very simple propane. But, here you are also provided with three functional groups, but all the three are same and they are carboxylic. It is oic. Then how to name it? It will be named as, now you can decide only one side, either left or right to start. Suppose it is selected as left side, then it is propane 1, 2, 3, tricarboxylic acid. One more example, when along with the 3 carboxylic group, you are also provided with that alcoholic group OH. Then what to do? Now, principal, uh, principal functional group will be carboxylic, but... OH will be substituent and now it will be written as hydroxy. Okay? Not all. It will be written as hydroxy. Now its IUPAC name will be 2-hydroxypropane 1-2-3-tricarboxylic acid. And the last rule is if all the three like groups are not directly linked, to the unbranched carbon chain, the two like groups are included in the parent chain, while the third, which forms the side chain, is considered as a substituent group. Now, you are provided an example and take care in this example, CN is a substituent and other CN, you have to start from number 1 ending to the other CN. Here you are provided 3 times cyano group CN. Now it will be termed both as nitril and cyano. One CN which is shown at the top, it is considered as substituent and will be called cyano. As it is linked to CH2, it is cyanomethyl. And other two CN at number 1 and number 6, they are nitril. As both are same, so it will be called dinitril. So name will be 3 cyanomethyl hexane 1 6 dinitril. So students do practice uh, over and over again of all the IUPSC systems, IUPSC examples, then the topic will become very easy. Okay, thank you so much.